Subscribe to YouTube, select the guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professional. All right, yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another chill video with your boy Sebi G. Super chill today because not only are we just chilling on the weekend and getting an early morning sesh, but we're watching the Barcelona game right now. I've been watching soccer all morning, watch some of the F1 qualifying, and now it's time to record and make a banger for the boys, all right? So as you guys can tell by the title, today we're gonna be taking blinkers and regular hits off of fake carts. So a little bit of a backstory because I had to improvise. So I went to the dispo because I wanted to show you guys like that you guys could actually get push carts at actual dispos. And for some reason, the footage got corrupt and pretty much everything that I recorded just went down the drain. So I wasn't able to show that to you guys. I had to improvise and this is what we got for today, all right? But for those of you who are curious and always ask me questions like, yo Sebi, like aren't push carts fake? And I like to answer your question straightforward, they used to be fake, all right, ladies and gentlemen, they used to, or not even fake, they used to be underground. They used to be unlicensed, but now they got all of their licensing, they got everything that they need in order to actually put their stuff in actual legal licensed dispensaries here in California, all right? I'm not too sure where else they have it, but here in California, I was personally able to pick it up from Urban Culture in San Bernardino, and I'm uh, pretty sure that if you live in the Cali Inland Empire area, you probably already know what dispensary that is right ladies and gentlemen so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the video and um, right here we got four different cards I had picked up like six total I think or even seven and then uh, I showed you guys in one of the videos and this one right here is just reviewing the other ones and just taste testing them all right so they've been having some pretty solid flavors to be quite honest with you and even on their new ones that they just dropped which is the push pods those things right there smack it kind of tastes like like literally like a freaking plug play all right ladies and gents so with that being said let's go ahead and get this bad boy started and speaking of plug play i'm pretty sure i need to figure out where that battery is but i guess we'll go ahead and get started with the disposables and see how these bad boys are tasting but before we get started let me know down in the comments below what are you guys chiefing for today's video or what are you just chiefing today in, in general you feel me are you guys chiefing on some fire are you dry Personally, I feel like I haven't been smoking as much as I used to. Like, I don't know. Like, you know how you go through phases in life where at one point you're just chiefing like crazy every day, all day. And then times where you're just like dialed in and you're, you don't really have time for that stuff, right? So I think that's where I'm at right now. Just at the end of the year is usually the busiest time for me. And like the begin, the end of the year and the beginning year, both of those are like the busiest times for your boy, all right? So with that being said, today we got another busy day. So before we even get started with other stuff, we already hit the gym. You guys already know how that goes. It, I kind of wanted to ask you guys, right? You guys are my supporters. You guys are my, I guess, fans if you want to call yourself that. But I call you guys my supporters because fan just sounds kind of lame. And um, I wanted to ask, what, if, what would you guys think if I started doing like just regular vlog shit and like going to the gym vlogs, hanging out with the homies, what would you guys like, would you guys respond like positively to that? Or do you guys just like the regular sit down at the desk, sit down in the office and just review whatever the heck we got on for today? I feel like the vlogs is gonna be the way to go now because like I've thought about doing it in the past and I did do a couple of videos, but I've never been consistent. But I feel like at this point in my career, it's time to start just like doing things a little bit differently because I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've been getting a little bit too comfortable with this and stuff like that. And it's just, and when you get too comfortable, it's not as fun as it used to be, all right? So one thing that I really wanna do is kinda just challenge myself and go out and create different content than what I normally do. So let me know down in the comments below what what would you guys like to see all right vlogs challenges collaborations anything you guys want to see let me know down in the comments below and let's go ahead and try out the first flavor of the day which is going to be the jack Herrera. so personally when it comes down to the push disposables they're pretty spot on they're pretty fire and like i said they're really doing something with these dispos these pods and even the cards right like i personally never thought that i would even like like taste a push but after after trying it for the first time I was like holy shit like 
you know now i know why people like it so damn much even if like they used to be street people on the streets were literally just loving these right ladies and gents so let's go in on our first taste test of the jack herrera Like it's getting back to the basics, you know, just some good quality Disty with little terps just to make it taste like what the what the freaking strain is supposed to be tasting like and call it a day. This right here is solid so far. I think Jack Herrera's is probably one of the only if not the only sativa that I actually maybe enjoy chief in and that's just because it's just a nostalgic flavor and it's a little bit more on the heavier side whereas other sativas I feel like they're more on the like very like citrusy and very aromatic and Jack Herrera has a good combination of like earthy a tad bit of like gassiness on the back end with citrusiness all right so that right there is gonna go ahead and get I'll go ahead and give it a good solid 8 out of 10 to be quite honest with you all right let's go ahead and go in on our first blinky Ooh wee I was definitely warm and I know for a fact push still gets fake to this day because that's just kind of how this industry goes if you're a good quality brand People are gonna try to knock you off and try to make a quick buck off of you and sell fake stuff in your packaging and things like that. And um, I, that's why I feel like people still think that Push is a street fake cart, but they're just not put on game. They're not educated enough to know that they're actually in legal license dispos here in Cali. Now, I don't know if they're anywhere else. If they are, I'll give you guys the info down below. But as of right now, I do think that they're only based out of Cali. If you guys get them anywhere outside of Cali, let me know what state you're from and that'll let others know where these bad boys are at too, all right? So this one right here that we're gonna be breaking into is gonna be the Fruity Cereal. Speaking of fake carts though, like I just feel like recently there hasn't really been a lot of fake carts, you feel me? I feel like fake carts definitely died down after all of these alt cannabinoids release, like Delta A, Delta 10, HAC, you guys already know the deal, and most recently the THCA, but ever since those things have released, I really haven't seen been seeing too many people actually going for fake carts. I feel like they'd rather just go with like the HAC, THCA route because it's fully federally legal in most states and you could get it shipped straight to your door, literally walk down the street to your local convenience store, gas station, blah, 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 and cop it there. But I really haven't been seeing too many fake carts overall, you feel me? It's really been dying down and I don't know if that's like, a good thing i mean I'm, I'm assuming it is a good thing right i'm assuming it is a good thing now we have this right here hhc though that's still somewhat unregulated even the thc is unregulated all this stuff that people are making with chemical compounds and not the actual plant itself like it's going a little bit too far so that's why as you guys know with like that farm bill I believe it's within this month or the next month that they're gonna be going through it. And I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be getting rid of most of this stuff, right? So that's why it's best to stockpile right now, if you, especially if you live in one of those states where you know for sure they're gonna be taking it like away ASAP. But that hopefully that just leads to like them actually making this fully federal illegal. You know, the actual plant itself because that, that way people will stop doing loopholes and that way people will literally just get the real deal, you feel me? Instead of putting this fake ass knockoff shit that you really don't know if it's safe for your body or not. Bro, in Barcelona right now is literally getting cooked right now. They're getting absolutely cooked by Celta. They're getting absolutely cooked, right? It's 2-0, they haven't really made any goals whatsoever, but we're, I don't even care about this match anymore. Back to the video, bro. Those are the, a little bit of an update for everybody who's watching this, right, ladies and gents. Let's go ahead and go in on our la on our second little hit right here. Like I said in the beginning, this one right here is going to be the fruity cereal. I'm hoping that it tastes somewhat Gassington. Ooh. Wow. Hold up. That right there might have been kind of tastes like a like a fruity pebbles, like for real, it's like fruity pebbles cereal milk. And I don't know about you guys, I, I might just like this because my favorite cereal of all time is fruity pebbles. And that shit right there is goaded tier one, tier, tier S cereal, beats every other cereal by far. All right, ladies and gentlemen, maybe cinnamon toast crunch is like right underneath it, but for sure fruity pebbles is king. 
So this right here, have kind of a reminiscent taste. It's a warm and milky, little bit of like a hotter dab, and it tastes pretty freaking spot on. I'm not gonna lie with you, is this right here is pretty freaking enjoyable, right? So let's go ahead and go in on another quick little taste test. Yeah, that's a pretty decent taste. Like if you like fruity cereal milk, this one might be for you. And speaking on the Push Dispo, this right here is kind of a beast. It comes in white and on the bottom when you hit it, it flashes up orange. And it might be one of the sickest disposables that is currently out on the market. All right, so I was gonna do the push pod, but I think I left the battery in the car and I'm really too lazy to go right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and use the orange tsunami glass cart. Now, if you guys want to see some more content on the pods, I already made a video on it. Make sure that you guys go ahead and check that out. I believe it's like new push pods at 6 a.m. or something like that. It was an even earlier session than what we're doing today. It was a pretty much a banger, right? But so far, the ratings that I give the first two dispos, the Jack Herrera was a good 8.0. The fruity cereal milk, I feel like only because I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and have to give it a good 8.0 too. But some of you might not like that fruity cereal milky taste, right, ladies and gentlemen? That's just me, I don't know. Sometimes I'm crazy with it, sometimes I dig the, the crazy flavors, and it just throws it back to like, back in the days when distillate carts first started and people were just making some crazy flavor combinations but they turned out to be pretty good all right got the card on here Lewandowski just scored a freaking goal making it 2-1 right now 10 minutes left I'm pretty sure they're gonna give him maybe like around a nine minute extra time not nah, nine minutes is too OD probably like seven minutes for sure and they're for sure gonna tie this up at least all right so let's go ahead and end this out here this right here is gonna be the orange tsunami cart from a push and let's go ahead and see how this bad boy's hitting low voltage right there try to get the ooh hold on low voltage really hit the spot right there with the flavors tastes orangey kind of like an aftertaste of like orange soda in a sense and this right here hold on let me go in on one more real quick That right there is fire. Kind of reminiscent of like the plug plate orange creamsicle. I don't know. I think that used to be a flavor. I think that used to be a flavor. I don't know if you guys remember that flavor, but like orange creamsicle-y type vibe. Maybe even like the orange, the, that juice a little bit in a sense, but creamier. This right here is a good 8.5 out of 10. I'm not even gonna lie with you. The flavor is on point. And push carts, you guys really have done out, outdone yourselves, you feel me? Now that they're in the legal market, they're definitely making some heat. And just keep an eye out for them, all right, ladies and gents? So that right there was blinking fake carts. If you guys enjoyed today's quick little sesh, do your boy a favor by leaving a fat like, sub to the channel, comment down below, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.